What's going on beautiful people? We are here in LA and it is a little gloomy, but it's still beautiful outside. And today, <laughs> today we're gonna be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a couple weeks now. And I'm gonna explain what First, I gotta show you guys some special guests that we have with me. First special guest making a return after I don't know how long it's been. Bam, fire kicks in the Hello, building. Guys, your boy, fire kicks, your girl's favorite reseller. Back in the business. And today, we have a special video for y'all. Shout out to the resellers across the world. And our second guest right here, we're gonna call him Mr. 100K. If you guys remember from my video not too long ago, my man hit 10 three-pointers in a row to win $100,000. My man Austin right here was good. What up guys? As you can tell, I'm spending my 100K on kicks. Yeah, we out here. Great video coming more, for you guys More today. like $40. Oh! They're gonna be rolling with me and today what this, this is what we're gonna do. So I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to YouTube trends lately, but one trend that's been going on is other YouTubers, they've been going to very bad rated stores and like hotels and like nail salons and restaurants, stuff, restaurants right. yeah. and just getting that experience. So I was thinking like I'm the sneaker guy, let's find the worst rated sneaker store in LA and see if it's really that bad, that bad you know? Why is it rated so bad? I'm about to type in sneakers, current location flight club is three stars cool kicks is three stars round two is 3.4 so that's like one of the top ones right now soul stage so soul stage is two and a half that's the lowest so far right Soul. oh shoe palace and soul stage shoe palace is a retail store and then soul stage is a re resell store so we might have to hit up both of those because one of them is literally right here all right so our two stores today are going to be we'll go to shoe palace which is walking distance and then we have soul stage which is not that far Let's look at some of the reviews for Shoe Palace and see what people are saying, why it's rated so bad. Oh, right there, one star. Shoe Palace will not stand behind defective products. I purchased a pair of Nike Air Max 2070s on their website. After wearing the only shoe five times, it developed such a horrible gash clean through the upper. Well, you wore the shoe yeah. and he's trying to return it. That's this your fault. This guy saying, worst customer service ever. They don't care a crap about nothing. They are not there to help. Why would you have so many of them there just to be crowded? Place is shady on the Jordan <laughs> release date. My wife purchased a, <laughs> a Pharrell Adidas track pants after two days. They look like a five year used pants. So they're using it. Yeah, like, they're, they're, re they're reviews are basically uh, after yeah like but also the product the is product. not on them if the item sold to you bad quality basically it's your fault so they're blaming like products yeah right? the product like nike worst customer service so let's let's go check out shoe palace and then after we'll look at the soul stage reviews and figure that out so let's go to shoe palace now Greeted us, so I think that's really good for customer service. Alright, what's going on? What's going on? Second person. Alright, thank you. Thanks, bro. Yeah, everything's been good so far. Products are good. Like, they actually have some heaters in here. Maybe people don't like that there's fur in here. <laughs> think that's why? Let's all sit in one of these chairs and then, uh, and then Chris is gonna take a picture like we're camping out. Ready? What's going on guys? This is a quick intermission to let you guys know about SeatGeek since SeatGeek is sending me to the All-Star Game this weekend. If you guys remember, SeatGeek sent me to the Royal Rumble not too long ago and they are sending me again to All-Star Weekend like I just said and they just absolutely have the best place to purchase tickets to any type of event. Whether you're going to a concert, NBA game, All-Star Weekend, whatever it is, SeatGeek is the way to go. SeatGeek provides a grade for your ticket so that you know you're getting a very very good deal they also give you a preview of where your seats will be so that you don't just show up and like you know you get something you weren't expecting and we got a special going on for twenty dollars off if you use my code Kai. So on your first purchase, if you want to get a little bit of a discount, use my code and you will get $20 off. Have fun at any events you guys go to and make sure you guys download SeatGeek. I'm going to link it down below. And yeah, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Bye. All right, guys, so we just left Shoe Palace on Melrose. Personally, I thought it's clean. It looked good. Two people asked us how you were, if we needed anything. Customer service to me looked good. There's even a line outside, so that seems civil. When you when you have a good experience, you don't really write on Yelp, yeah, but when you have exactly. a bad experience, you you're more. What would you give your, if you were to write a review on Yelp about this store, what would you give it? Exactly. 
What would you give it? Oh, I thought you were asking. I thought you were asking. <laughs> no, no, I'm asking you. Uh, I would give it a four. four I mean, four and a half. Nice. Four and a half. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a four. I would give it a five if I went in there and there was like, oh damn, I need those. Like, yeah. if they had a shoe, they do have good products. I would give it a four right now, but I don't see why it's two and a half. So shout out to Shoe Palace. I think the store is great. I would yeah. give it four stars. We're gonna go to Soul Stage now on Fairfax and see if it lives up to the two and a half star rating. So let's go to Fairfax. About to go ahead and read the reviews on Yelp for Soul Stage. The first one star review is I bought online Yeezy shoes and two hoodies anti social club. The size was bigger and didn't change it. Or don't take one hoodie back or even change color. All over the world, there's no such rule. Okay, that I guess well, their return policy I think is no return, so that's yeah. like the customer's fault. Exactly. The store has some shady people working for them, and the customer service was terrible. Not to mention overpriced. They have a decent selection of stuff, but um, yeah, so overpriced. Stay clear of this place for sure. Yet another store. Fairfax looking to drum up excitement and exclusivity to the store by making you stand in line just to get in the door if you're going to sell someone a $200 shirt you could be courteous and inform them that there there's a flaw on it okay so they sold them a flawed, flawed shirt the store has a good selection however they don't let you try on things so sizing is a problem most yeah. stores are like that because yeah. if you're buying supreme like you can't try it on it's like freaking supreme then there's a problem with like what they have their items and returns I feel like some those customer are, those servers are issues that you could get yeah. at every sneaker store you know yeah. what i mean the thing about soul stages is like i'm not gonna lie their prices are a little like they're i would compare their prices to flight club prices and it's like that, that that works for them you know what i mean if it works for them why would they change it so i respect that if that's what works for them they're in a great area close to like supreme so it's like i guess that's works for them so let's go see right here five hundred dollars the price is a little bit high but i guess it's like you could just buy it right now instead of waiting like two weeks to buy it shutter backboard 850 pretty accurate I this one's a little crazy 1300 yeah this is base size though base four and a half like, I, see, I found this nas t 400 the thing is i don't know what these go yeah. for so i'll probably insert the average price here's a good comparison i saw these at cool case for 350 same price we pulled up to soul stage i'm gonna give you guys my personal opinion when i get home but i want to give a i want to get their opinions i thought it was pretty clean obviously i'm not the biggest hype beast in the world but like the prices seemed competitive the people were nice but I, th I mean I thought it was fine compared to all the other stores I mean aside from cool kicks because that's our spot but <laughs> I thought it was cool what do you think uh, soul stage for me I think prices were a little bit expensive I think it was like ranging from 50 to 100 above but I guess that's just a premium of being able to buy it right then and there and also I think for like clothing like the really really high clothing like the box logos is like a one-stop shop for like a, a some someone super rich from Dubai like doesn't care about money he just wants to go to one store buy everything and get out i think that can be like that can be it's like more of a premium type store all right well i'm gonna go back to the crib right now and i'm gonna give you guys a sit down review in my opinion let's go to the crib and wrap this video up all right guys so we are back at the crib right now and i'm going to be giving you guys my review on this store soul stage now the thing is on yelp this store got two and a half stars same with shoe palace so we already talked about shoe palace but i want to talk about soul stage this is not a promotional video with soul stage and honestly i feel like the yelp reviews do not really reflect the overall experience in the store i don't think the store is bad overall i feel like a few people have had bad experiences there is a few things i agree with and that's just like customer service like they will definitely help you if you ask for help but it's not one of those stores where you can where you walk in and they're gonna be like hey how are you guys doing blah 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 like don't expect the retail experience when you go into that store of people greeting you like oh how's it going what do you need and that's that really happens on a lot of stores on Fairfax and Melrose to be honest with you That's just the like that's just the vibe that happens out here in Hollywood as far as pricing goes I thought their prices were gonna be higher than what I saw like I thought soul stage was closer to like the flight club prices But we compared some of the shoe prices and it was the same price as some of the stores like cool kicks Most people what happens is they go into these stores and they compare the prices they see online on these different apps So the problem is is that those apps you buy them you got to wait for them to come to you like two weeks later but when it comes to like stores like soul stage you literally go in there you pay the price right away and you get to leave with the shoe there wasn't anything that i saw that had any flaws but i really didn't look at all the products if you think about it like if you go to an h&m if you're gonna buy a shirt regardless 
you should look at the shirt to see if there's a stain. Think about this. When H&M gets a shipment, literally everything is sent to them in one giant box with all the sizes and it goes straight to the sales floor. When it comes to a store like Soul Stage, people are bringing and selling the product to them. Maybe the person who sold it to Soul Stage before they tried it on, like there's always, there might be a chance that a product has a small stain or a flaw that you didn't notice. So regardless, if you go to Soul Stage, Round 2, Cool Kicks, any store you go to, you should look at your your product before you purchase it. That's not their fault, that's your fault because you know the products they have aren't their own products. It's not like H&M where it has an H&M logo. I always feel like Yelp reviews are unfair because like Austin said, most people, they don't write positive reviews. If they have a positive experience, the average person will not speak on it. But if they have a bad review, they will speak on it. That's just how the human brain works. I don't know what it is, but the negatives always outshine the positives and I feel like that's why they have such a bad review. And yeah, man, let me know what you guys thought about this uh, going to the worst rated sneaker store video. And uh, that wraps up our conclusion of uh, going to the worst rated sneaker store. So that's, that's that. So yeah, cool. How the hell did I get that stain on my damn Jordan 3s, man? You know what that means, people. There we go. Very, very nice. Now that was just with a wipe. If I really, really wanted to dig into that stain and get it really, really clean, I would use the Crep Cure, but I'm too lazy and I'm just gonna use a wipe because the wipe is a quick, quick cleaner. So tomorrow I am leaving to Charlotte for All-Star Weekend. I'm actually excited to be out there. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, I will be out there thanks to SeatGeek. So shout out to SeatGeek for sending me. I'm also going to be going to a whole bunch of other events with like Under Armour, Champ Sports, Nike, Foot Locker. I can't even think. Like there's so much going on during All-Star Weekend. And I'm going to try to cover as much as possible for you guys because I'm going to be there. It's going to be absolutely crazy. I'm going to go shopping out there, buy hella shoes. I've been blessed enough to go to the last two All-Star games. Los Angeles and New Orleans so it's dope to be going for a third year in a row and I actually did just receive a pair of shoes from Puma so let me show you guys this quick sneaker unboxing note right here from Puma it says Kais introducing the uproar releasing on 216 see you at all-star weekend at Puma hoops as you guys can see, it's got like that blue fade going right down the middle. Purple detailing right here, orange detailing right there. This is definitely like a Charlotte Hornet, a nod to the Charlotte Hornets colorway. I'm not sure what this is really paying a tribute to, but it's got like that dad vibe, like the dad shoe vibe, which kind of reminds me of one of my favorite Puma shoes, the RSX. So it's really dope that they went in that direction. And it, I think these look super sick. Counter and midsole, purple accents on the right foot. Oh, purple and orange is the, wait, wait, what? When did Charlotte ever have? orange on their jerseys i can't remember so yeah man i will give you guys a full review on these when i do play basketball on these but uh, as of right now i probably i'm probably gonna take these to charlotte with me just because you never know i'm a hooper so you might hoop anytime anywhere you know what i'm saying <sighs> oh my god that was hella zoomed in all right guys so we are gonna end the video right here we got box logo bear what's good fam I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting a whole bunch of stories from All-Star Weekend. Ahmed, any last words to say, G? Abercrombie model over here. Uh, thank you, G. Enjoy Charlotte. Have some good time in All-Star. Try to get stuff for the squad like you always do. You're a real one for that. All right, guys. I'm out. Peace. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. Yeah. They just want to do it how we do. Yeah. Living my life like the Beatles. Ooh. I just pulled up with some lethal. Ooh. They getting mad and deceitful. Yeah. I make it hard to be peaceful. Yeah. They tell me I got an ego. Yeah. But I'm putting up for my people